Hello, from March 5th to March 11th, 2021, the Brazil Canada Chamber of Commerce will be hosting the 15th edition of the Brazil Canada at PDAC, taking place during the 2021 PDAC Virtual Convention, which includes a series of events focused on the Brazilian mineral exploration and mining industries. I'm Carolina Alberna, CEO of the Brazil Canada Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here today with Guillaume Legat, Head South America at TSX TSX Ventures, to understand how they are helping Latin American companies to access capital. TMX Group is one of the members of the BCCC and our silver sponsor. So, Guillaume, welcome. Uh, thanks for being here with us today. Um, so you're currently living in South America, right? So why don't we start by telling us a little bit about your background and about the TMX Group? Good morning, uh, Carolina. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Um, it's good to, uh, good to see you virtually still. Um, so yes, the TMX group made the decision in 2019 to have a full-time presence in Latin America. So they didn't have any, anyone on the ground. I was already working on the ground for, for about nine years. I was based in, in Brazil uh, for nine years working for the National Bank of Canada. And then uh, there was an opportunity to help TMX group grow its footprint in Latin America. So I was in Sao Paulo back then. I moved to Lima uh, about two years ago. Uh, and I think it's, it's great to be in the region and help companies uh, access our markets. Obviously, Brazil is a very key and strategic market for us. So I need to, um, usually in normal times, I need to travel to Brazil many times per year. Um, but in these virtual uh, conditions, there's lots of things we can do also to help uh, issuers and uh, connect with the, uh, the ecosystem, especially on the mining front. And how important is Latin America and Brazil to the TSX and TSX ventures today? And what opportunities are there for listed companies or companies looking to list on the TSX and TSX feed? Well, we're going to be fo focusing more on the mining front, but I see lots of opportunities apart from mining. But a lot of people know that we are a truly global mining exchange. Uh, and Latin America is, is a very important mining market for TSX and TSX venture. So it currently represents 25% of all mining issuers on our equity markets. So there are a total of 410 um, uh, mining companies in Latin America listed on TSX and TSX Venture with 1,061 mining properties as of December 31st. And, and of those 410 mining companies, 36 are in Brazil with uh, close to 100 uh, mining properties. So the numbers, you know, we should see Brazil as much more important in this, uh, in this LATAM numbers. So uh, the intention with the local presence is to help uh, grow those numbers. And I think, you know, miners know about Toronto. Toronto is uh, an ecosystem that understands and support minings, the risk and opportunities. Uh, its influence can be seen through the global standards such, such as the NI42101 uh, reports. So there's a lot of potential in South America, in Brazil, but company, companies need to have access to the best possible valuation through, through our markets. I was mentioning our, you know, the, the fact that we're number one in the mining sector, just to reinforce that, that point here. So we're number one in terms of the number of listed mining, mining companies globally with 1,146. 1, uh, we're also number, number one in terms of the value of the uh, equity capital raised from 2016 to 2020. We raised 37% of the total mining equity capital globally. Uh, we are a global exchange, so 46%, 43% of the uh, you know, global public mining companies are listed on TSX or TSXV. And the interesting fact is that 47% of all uh, the more than 5,200 mineral projects are outside of Canada, companies outside of Canada. So we are a global exchange, and I think the potential for Brazil is, is, is important. And just to um, also to summarize our activity in 2020, uh, so it was a very important um, momentum on the market for the mining. Uh, uh, we have seen mining dominance. We have seen 57 new mining listings. Uh, 10 of those were in Latin America. We have seen a capital raise also on the, on the rise, 7.5 billion capital raised, and also 2.9 billion of this capital was raised for uh, in Latin America. Uh, we have seen also a very important number of financings, 1,467 financings just for TSX Venture and 175 financings for TSX. So this sends a very strong message about the, the momentum on our markets for the venture exchange. Accessing the venture exchange is very important for junior uh, mining companies, especially in Brazil. So we intend to use this momentum in 2021 to grow uh, our footprint in the region. 
Great. So, and what opportunities do you see for Brazilian mining companies in the context of clean energy transition? And how can TSX and TSXV add value to the issuers that would like to be part of the TSX and TSXV? Well, that's, that's a very, very interesting subject. I, I wrote a short article on this a couple of months ago, and I see a lot of interest right now in across Latin America on this topic. Um, so, so there is an, an opportunity around the clean energy transition uh, that will be mineral intensive. More than 3 billion tons of minerals and metals will be needed to develop cleaner energy technologies and deploy wind, uh, solar, geothermal power, energy storage. So the sustainable extraction uh, of minerals uh, will be really a key, you know, in processing the minerals and metals to secure the supply chain, clean energy te technologies. Uh, it will, will need to minimize the ESG, you know, the social, environmental and climate footprint um, throughout the value chain. In addition, sustainable finance is emerging as the new standard for mining companies to maintain access to capital. So institutional investors today are increasingly looking at the uh, the environmental, social, and governance, ESG, into their investment analysis and decision-making. Um, so what we intend to do is to help companies with their disclosure around ESG. For example, at TMX, we have the ESG portal, ESG 101, where we help companies to better disclose this kind of information that is looked at by, uh, by investors. Um, and also, just to bring it back to, to Brazil, Brazil has, obviously, the opportunity to play a key role in this uh, uh, low-carbon future. Brazil's mineral potential is impressive. It's rich in, uh, in, in precious metals and has some of the largest reserves of critical metals that are necessary for this um, uh, clean energy re uh, revolution. Uh, and our TSX and TSX uh, venture markets support clean energy metal producers, mineral producers. Uh, base metals and battery metals are driving a lot of interest on our markets at the moment. So in this context, I think what it means is, is really uh, to be able to deliver on those global needs. It, it is imperative to have more local management teams in Latin America and in Brazil uh, to position their companies for future growth. So Brazil has the entrepreneurial capacity to move up the value change, chain and our TSX, TSX, TSXV markets will support that growth. Great. Uh, ESG is definitely one of the main subjects of our PDAC programming. And I think that's... Uh, it's a main subject for every single programming moving forward in all the sectors, not only mining, but um, everywhere. So um, how do you see and uh, how do you see the role of Brazilian companies on TSX and TSXV going forward? And what are TMX group plans for PDAC? Yes, so obviously the fact that we have a local presence in South America makes it easier to connect with, uh, with companies, with junior miners, and we understand their needs for, for growth, their need, their need for capital. Um, so what we have done last year in, in October last year is the first virtual LATAM Mining Investor Day uh, to connect six uh, private and public uh, companies, uh, mining companies to uh, critical, you know, strategic investors and stakeholders around the mining sector. So we intend to do more of those events in the future to, to help companies connect with investors. And the fact that we're all virtual right now makes it easier to uh, to connect and to do virtual roadshows, if I can, if I can say. So we we want to be positioned in South America as the you know an entrepreneurial exchange. Uh, we want to support local management teams to access capital on our markets. The quality of the management team is a key element. We mentioned ESG, which is something critical, but also uh, the management team is a critical element to consider for companies to go public. There's constraints on capital. Investors are looking at uh, for the best possible management team to develop the projects efficiently. So uh, infrastructure is important, uh, size, the mineral, the connectivity. But I think the investors are much more likely to back projects uh, that have credible management teams with a successful track record. So with that in mind, what we want to do is to help companies access our markets earlier. So the TSX Venture Exchange, uh, we have a two-tier market ecosystem. So, so the TSX Venture Exchange can list, a company can use the TSX Venture to list as a first place and then graduate to the main board, the TSX when uh, the capital needs, uh, you know, uh, it, when they grow their capital needs. So the intention is to help companies. We have so far 700 companies that have graduated from the venture exchange to the main board the tsx and on the mining side they're the most the largest mining companies in the world that were uh, also started on the tsx venture so we believe that i think there's around 52 percent of tsx mining uh, companies today that, that are graduates from the tsx venture and we have different structures that can help also um, we don't have much time to talk about this today but we have a capital pool company program 
that we can expand on it in the future where uh, we can definitely help companies access our markets uh, through this uh, uh, this structure and around the the latam uh, the, the pdac presence we're happy to uh, to have this partnership with the bccc and participate in various panels we're happy also to do a market opening with the Brazilian delegation, a virtual market open, obviously. Oh, okay. um, so that will be very interesting. And we're also planning virtual, uh, you know, fireside chats with, um, I don't want to talk too much about this uh, yet, but you will see on our uh, PDAC TMX website, a few interviews with Brazilians uh, and, and also across the region in Peru and Colombia. We'll try to tell more uh, the story of Latin American countries to uh, to our investors and, and stakeholders. So it will be an interesting PDAC. It will be challenging to go virtual for everyone, but we believe that is just uh, a, an interesting time to be to be connected virtually. Yes, I agree. And I think uh, we're going to have to learn, keep learning how to network online uh, for the near future. But I agree with you. I think it's going to be a great PDAC. There's a lot of very interesting discussions being planned. And so for you that are watching us today, stay tuned as the TMX group and uh, as Guillaume mentioned, we'll be moderating two very important CEO talk shows during the Brazil Canada Mining Insights, which will take place on Friday, March 5th. The first one featuring TMX listed companies moderated by Rob Petterman. Uh, Vice President Global Business Development at TMX Group, and the second one featuring TMX V and private companies moderated uh, by Guillaume. Um, they'll also be part of the Tuesday programming of the Brazil Canada PDAC 2021. It's starting the day, as he mentioned, with the Brazilian market opening at 9.30 a.m. And then we have Dean McPherson, Head of Business Development Global Mining at the TMX Group presenting in the afternoon we're doing our capital markets program. So don't miss it. For more information and registration, please go to www.braskingchamber.org dash PDAC 2021. And we look forward to see you all there. Thank you so much, Guillaume, for your time and uh, for this interview. And thank you for the partnership throughout those years. We look forward to having you speaking at our events. Thank you very much. And looking forward to, uh, to see you all at PDAC. Thank, thank you. you.